Welcome everybody to a brand new episode of Let's Talk About Cigars. My name is Do Cigars. Today it's time for another product review, so uh, let's light one up. So, today it's time for another product review. It's going to be a cutter again. Uh, this time it's the cutter from Cigar, the XO. It's been out for a while now. Um, I was already thinking for a long time to do a review about this cutter because I was very curious about it. Uh, and then now I have the chance to do it. So I got the, I think they call it the bronze one. It looks a little gunmetal color. And we have the, the blue on black one. I believe this is the color that they launched it in. I believe in the, in the first period this was one of the most expensive colors to buy. Uh, there are now a ton of colors, you have them all blacked out, you have them with carbon, you have them with uh, a lot of different colors. I like that. So, um, yeah, let's see how the blue one, blue one works. This has the nice black blades, the bronze one has the silver blades as you can see. And, um, yeah, I'm very curious. So the system is that as you can see, the blades always move together. So if you push one, the other one always moves. So with most of the cutters that you have, is you can individually you, you know, well, open and close both blades. Um, sometimes that's handy, but in this case, because of the, the synchronized movement, it will always cut at the right point. So the cigar will always be cut from, straight, from both sides at the same time. Um, and apparently that's a benefit. So, one of the things that I immediately noticed, um, well, might be my thing, but they smell like oil or, or lubricant. Because they, they, there are a lot of gears in everything. I will, I will show you a close-up so you can you understand where, why there's probably uh, some of the, the, the yeah, loop, is maybe not the right word, but some sort of oil to get the mechanism going, but it really smells. So let's hope it doesn't get on the cigar because of that. The outside is aluminum, aluminum, aluminium. The outside is aluminium. It feels quite light. If you look at it, it, it looks like a very heavy cutter, but it's not. It's, it is quite thick. But the outside, it feels very good. The, the paint job on this blue one is very nice. It looks like it's I have no experience with it so far yet, but it looks like it's a paint job that will last for a long time. I don't think it will scratch very easy. It's the same on the bronze one. I like it. It's a little bit rougher, this paint. I like the exterior look of it very much. It's very nice, uh, very nice looking cutter. It's very strange compared to all the other cutters, but uh, well, let's see the most important part. How does it cut? I'm very curious. So here you can see a little bit more of a close-up look. You see a spring there, you see the mechanism here. You see the, the gears moving. So that makes it open and close at the exact same time. Here you see the incapings. So that's how it works. Like I showed you before, if you push one side it will always close at the same time okay so this is made for the 64 inch uh, 64 inch 64 ring gauge so a big cigar can fit in it no problem I got this one for the Cuban cigars this is quite a big size and it fits no problem but we are going to try it with a bit of a smaller cigar so a uh, Paragas Aristocrat nothing special but I don't want to ruin a good cigar so well I don't I don't think it will cut bad but you never know because I look for the camera and yeah that, that always goes wrong so what I immediately see and what I don't want to say bothers me but it's something that I don't really like is that you can't you really have to as you can see you can't see how far the cigar is cutting so you have to cut it like this and you really have to Try and look on this side how far you are cutting it. Can't really see the lines of the cap. Okay, I do have to say it cuts 
Very good. Wow. Did you see what I cut off? Just, just a tip. It went through like a butter, through a uh, knife through butter. I'll show you again. Oh. Need more focus. Come on, focus. Yes. Very nice clean cut. It worked perfectly. I do have to say, like I said, I, I was a bit skeptic about it. Especially when I was putting the cigar through it and it's so thick. Compared to a lot of other cutters, especially the cutter that I use now. I don't know if it's here with me. The, the knife type of cutter is so thin, you can see exactly where you're going to cut the cigar. You can't really see it with this unless you really look through it and like I did. And then you can, you can see it decently, but it cuts so good. Man, this is perfect. <laughs> I was, I'm really surprised. You probably you can see it in my face. I was really surprised about this. Um, yeah. The only downside is, I think, the smell. Uh, maybe that will go away in time. And uh, the mechanism. Although it works very good, uh, the, the, the color so far works very good. I'm always curious to see how this goes within a couple of years. For example, if we put this in the lounge uh, and, and we, we use it a couple of times a day, I don't think the mechanism will last very, very long. But if you smoke once a week, one cigar, I think you can do a long time with this, uh, with this cutter. So, I think for the heavy users, the cut is good. I think the mechanism, it will have to prove itself in a, in a long time run. So the price, it is not a cheap cutter. I understand why uh, the aluminium, the, uh, the paint is very good, the materials that they use are excellent. Uh, I, I can understand making that mechanism, uh, designing everything, that's not cheap. So when it started, I believe they were around 150 euros, something like that. Especially this one, this was I believe one of the lounge editions, like I said, was the more expensive one. Now they go for around, I saw this one for 119 euros online. And uh, the, so the, those are for the special editions, also for the carbon one. And the normal ones, like this one, they go for around 100 euros. At least here in, in Holland, on the web, sh uh, web shops that I saw. So, it is a decent price. I do have to say, if I have to choose between this and a Dupont cutter, although I like the look of the Dupont cutter more, it's a bit more elegant than this, um, I think for the, the, the quality of the blades, I would go for this. Definitely go for this. Yeah. Yeah. So that was it. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Smoke on.